G'day, Byron Foss from the Drake Group. Today we've got something I reckon pretty special. It's a five by eight swing wide extendable. This one's got all the fruit on it. Wait till you see some of the features and benefits on this one. Um, Johnson & Young Cranes is the new owner. Um, so they've gone with Drake Trailers, which is fantastic. This one is a swing wide. The swing wide differs obviously from a swing wing. It's got the parameter style gooseneck. So there's a few differences there. Uh, really handy, the, the wide open gooseneck, which we'll go through in a second, is really good for things like all-terrain cranes, hence the crane company buying it. Uh, if you do a bit of agriculture work, I've sold some to different customers that, you know, put tractor and laser buckets on it. Especially being extendable, you can really open it up and, uh, yeah, and get some really unique loads on it. So let's go through some of the features now. So we'll start at the gooseneck, always good to start at the front of the trailer and just go through some of the uh, some of the items. We've got a sliding skid plate. We've got the gooseneck mounted power pack. In this case, we're using a Yanma diesel. Um, obviously, oil tank, everything up is up on the gooseneck with the uh, power pack. Auto grease is up there as well. The tower section on the trailer is a raise and lower gooseneck. Really important if, you're extend if you've got an extendable trailer. Obviously, the longer you are, probably the more chance of getting hooked up on things, you know, that, that increases. So, Hydraulic gooseneck, hydraulic suspension, lift the whole trailer up and get yourself out of a bind. This is a parameter style gooseneck that I've been telling you about. So some of the other advantages of that is it means that you get, you get maximum pontoon size, I suppose. I mean, the trailer closes up to 2.5, but the front pontoons actually touch. So there's no spine getting in the way. So when you come right forward, there's plenty of room for tracks or, you know, wheels, that sort of stuff right up into the gooseneck. So if you come through, I'll show you some of the other features, you know, inside the trailer. Watch your head. Typical for all Drake trailers, we've got our nine ton rated tie downs and plenty of them. Being an extendable, we can't put the tie down points on the outside because that's where the inner beam slides up when you close it. But you know, as many as we can anyway. Toolboxes, dunnage boxes everywhere. Just, and, and you can see as well what I mean about the pontoons and how wide they are. Like I said, this will come in and close, which means access to your toolboxes and dunnage boxes is, can't do it when it's closed, but as soon as you widen out, you've got good access into all of these areas here. Looking at the gooseneck from the trailer end of the vehicle, quite busy as you can see. You've got some control levers over here. One of them controls the hydraulic raised lower gooseneck, and the other one controls oil flow to pump oil through to the dolly so you can widen the dolly out. That means you don't need a power pack on the dolly. So yeah, that's what your controls are here. Lock racks, you can see all the different lock positions there. It's good to have a 3.5 position. As you know, if you're under 26 metres, and under 3.5 metres, you don't need an escort. So yeah, handy to have that position there. You can see now the auto greaser, probably a better look at the tower section as well. So plenty going on here. Because I don't have tie down points on the inside of the pontoon, obviously we've got these heavy duty tie down points running down the outside too. Being a crane company, a lot of sites also want you to have fall protection. So, so you might notice a few of these, I guess, drop in bolster positions that you can drop in the bolsters, put the ratchet straps on to give yourself fall protection. Access steps here with again, drop in panels to give you a three point contact. The extension is operated by a pneumatic lock right here. So, one switch operates both sides. It's handy, you don't have to go over both sides and uh, lock and unlock it. And then, as you might be able to see on the other side there, we've got lock increments every 500. So, you know, being able to lock in at all those different increments can be quite handy. You don't have to, you don't have to go out as long you know, just because there's no lock increment there. Having them every 500 just makes it more universal. This one's fitted with TMC axles. They use a unitized bearing. Um, good thing about the TMC is it enables to close up to 2.5 meters. It then widens to 4.3. We also have other axle options like York and BPW. Those ones there only enable you to close to 2.7, but then they go out to 4.6. So, you know, different, uh, you know, it's all different depending on what you want. All of our trailers come stand with a hubbo. This one's quite unique as well. It's got rear self-tracking axles on the back. Well, they're self-tracking for normal operation, but then 
With the radio remote control, you can also steer them, so manual override. That's real handy again, being an extendable, self-tracking axles will help you get around a bit easier. Uh, and then when you need to, you can power up, the, um, power up the power pack and remote steer them through your radio remote control. Powder coated black rims on this one. Not often we do that, but I reckon it looks pretty good. As you can see, this one's just fitted with the single ramps, heavy duty single ramps. Uh, we have bifold options available. This one's got ramp prop provisions as well, so if you want to prop the ramps, you might have seen them on some of the other clips that I've done, but yeah, it means that you can prop the ramps in a laid flat position or up on a 45 degrees angle as well. So yeah, different options with ramps available. This trailer, like I said earlier, it comes with everything. So it's got radio remote control, everything. Radio remote control widening, lock pins, hydraulic gooseneck, suspension, everything's on there. Should you get into trouble and your radio remote run out of power or what have you, you lose it, all of your manual controls are in here as well. So, so you'll, never, you'll never be able to not work the trailer. We also have pressure gauges on this, both the suspension and the gooseneck, so you can work out roughly what weight you've got on the axle group and the gooseneck. When closed up, this trailer is about 13 and a half metres of deck length. When extended, it goes all the way out to about 18 metres. We can go a little bit longer too. We've done 20 metre you know, overall deck length when extended, but you know, why go extra if you don't really need it? Obviously, that adds to your tear weight, so keep the tear weight. 18 metres is all this customer wanted. I'm happy to accommodate. So I hope you enjoyed our walk around of the Swing Wide. The Swing Wide trailer is available in 3B8, 4B8, 5B8 configurations, extendable, non-extendable, lots of different options with it. So if you think that the Swing Wide would be a good idea for your fleet, please give us a call. We'd love to go through some things with you. We can talk about payloads, we can talk about capacities, both legal and site shifts, all those sort of things. Give us a call, we'd love to hear from you. Thank you.